All right, put the can down. Right, well, one more second. No, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Hey, you got it. Shoot, do I? Shoot, do I? Go meet the family. Don't forget about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums. We might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. Really, I should get back to work. Okay, Joe, but before I go, I have a present for you. An invitation to an art auction? Yeah, they're selling this beautiful antique vase, and I want you to buy it for me. <laughs> Sam, you should. Well, I know how much I mean to you. <laughs> Sam, when did you develop such an appreciation for art? Well, I've always had it. I mean, art's so cute to have around, don't you think? Well, as long as it's a serious interest. Oh, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Hey, Joe. Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Got a gift and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, look at this. Donald sent us a postcard. Hey, that's the best news I ever heard. Well, you don't even know what it says. Just knowing he's far enough away to be sending postcards is good enough for me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he says he's wrapping up that editing assignment in uh, Nashville. Oh? <laughs> like I care. <laughs> what a biography of Buck Rivers. Buck Rivers, the king of Nashville? Well, you heard of him? Hey, I only got every one of his albums. Even the rare love songs from the Wailing Wall. <laughs> yeah, well, he says the book's doing real well. Jeez, I can't believe that. How can a puffball like Donnie do justice to a tumbleweed tough guy like Buck? Well, you don't have to be a rock to understand geology. Yeah, but it don't hurt to be in the same quarry. <laughs> And friends, I bring great news. Hi, hon, what's up? Get this. My communications class is looking for someone to host their cable access talk show, and I've been asked to audition myself. Hey, that is great news. Oh, it's such an opportunity. I mean, the last host, Jenny Motormouth Macintosh, she, she graduated, she moved on to Chicago. Now she makes coffee for Oprah. <laughs> So that's why all the sudden interest in television. Oh, Daddy, don't you see? I'm a natural. I mean, this is the perfect way to make use of my burning curiosity and my vast communication skills. <laughs> so when's your audition? Tomorrow night. Now all I need is a hot guest and a burning issue. Penny, penny, penny. I think I may have the answer for you. What about a single parent, restaurant entrepreneur, and well-known sports figure? No, Daddy, I can only have one guest. What <laughs> mean? Wait a minute. That's a possibility. But we need a twist. We do? Yeah, let's see. Uh, have you ever have you ever dated a woman in prison? No. Have you ever have you ever felt like a woman trapped inside a man's body? Of course not. So why are we even talking? I, I got less than 24 hours to find someone suitably nouveau. Uh, Penny, you know, I, I don't know why I thought of this, but might I suggest a uh, dashing young chef with homosexual overtones? <laughs> 23 hours and 59 minutes. <laughs> going into the toilet, and all you can say is, Hi, hon. Hi, hon. How are you? Betty, please. I still don't have a guest for my audition, and both my competitors have already booked terrific shows. Who'd they get? Well, Rhonda Tudball 
has a communist economist from Princeton, and Rita Ninky, she already scooped everyone with the exclusive rights to the opening of Lee's new hoagie house down on Maine. That is good. Well, if it ain't the gay caballero. Hey, Donald, how was Nashville? Cliff, it was great. Everyone down there has a story. Unfortunately, they're all the same. I got drunk, I fell down, my wife left me, and my hound dog done up and died. Donnie, Donnie, I just gotta ask you. Is Buck Rivers as nice in real life as he was on his Christmas special from the Fontainebleau? I don't know. We never met. What do you mean you never met? I thought you was writing his biology. Well, it, it, it's really an expose written by his former ex-manager, Bernie. What? It's got everything. Scandals, divorces, groupies. Juicy, but not my usual cup of tea. Now, hold on here, Buck. He approves of you airing out his dirty laundry in public? We gave him every opportunity to be involved. Wait a minute. If Buck don't want you to do the book, then he shouldn't do it. Lou, as long as a person doesn't distort the truth, he has a right to publish anything he likes. Says who? Says the First Amendment to the Constitution. Read it sometime. Or even better, I think Big Bird just came out with a video. <laughs> Donald, I never knew you were such an expert on the Constitution. Well, I did minor in government. Never made it to the majors, huh? <laughs> Your range of talents never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time, I've heard that. <laughs> Donald, how would you like to be a guest on my cable access talk show? You're hosting a talk show? Yeah. They beg me. <laughs> the least I can do is bring on a brilliant, renowned, constitutional expert like yourself. Television? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's your duty to be on my show. It is? Of course. I mean, after all, the Constitution's trendy. I mean, it's timely. Well, why not? Now, when shall I pencil this into my schedule? Soon, because you're in makeup in an hour. <laughs> Funny, I had the same thing penciled in at home. 